see the parents in Massachusetts send her kid, send her kid to high school, even though he tested positive for coronavirus. They must really hate that kid. What? I'm telling you, they have to hate. The, what's the other option? They have. You have to hate your kid so much that you got to get him out of the house, even if he has COVID. Just get out of the house. We don't even care. Just get out of here. We hate you. No, I don't think you hate the kid. I think you hate all kids. That's why if your kid has has tested positive right. for COVID and you send them to high school, yeah, you hate all kids. Right. Go infect everybody had else. a student who had uh, COVID-19 and had been at school uh, yesterday. The student uh, knew that they had the virus. They were under the understanding that since they were asymptomatic, that they did not need to quarantine for the oh full 10-day period. They knew. Okay, if, if you're that dumb, then you really need school, actually. <laughs> Shouldn't you be able... Okay, let's say your kid... Well, I can't only imagine if you had a kid in high school and another uh, excuse kid... Excuse me, my kid would be gay and fabulous. No, of course they would i can't say he i, I they would be a they so of that's right my, my child would be gender fluid right so of course they would but i'm saying if somebody sent their kid to the same school your kid was in knowing that that kid had covid you would have flipped out and sued the whole state sued those parents right and you would have been on a roll I mean, there, that, that is no what I would have done, and, and I think there will be parents that are doing that. You know, that this uh, there's already lawsuits going on. People that know they have COVID that are intentionally infecting other people. That's happened already, and there are lawsuits that are that have ensued as a result. Yeah, shouldn't you be able to sue somebody for attempted murder if yeah. if you, they they subject you to COVID. It's like if I walk into Walmart and there's somebody walking around without a mask and they know they have COVID, should I be able to sue them for attempted murder? Well, if you get COVID and they trace it back to that person, then, then yeah, it's no different than, don't you remember there was that one case where uh, the guy had AIDS and he was intentionally infecting other people. Mm -hmm. He was lying and saying he didn't, but he knew that he did. And once they traced it back to him and once they found out that he did know he had AIDS. He went to prison for attempted murder. Uh, so this kid's parents and this kid should all do time if somebody gets sick. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, you would be in. You would be at that school that day with your head popping off. Pretty much. <laughs> if your they kid got yeah. sick <laughs> from their kid, I'd pull my kid out of school. And I would sue the school. Right. I love a good lawsuit. You know me. <laughs> Even, yeah, because not only is your kid going to get sick, it's going to get you sick. It's going to get Joe sick. And the oh, God forbid the dog gets sick. Oh, forget oh, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. So everybody is getting sued. This is a class action lawsuit. <laughs> you just sue everybody. <laughs> you know, I have to say, you know, the good thing about this, a lot of families don't do a lot of things together. That'd be a nice thing to, for the family to do together. Just one big family lawsuit. You just all go to court at the same time. Yeah, you know, just a, a family bonding moment. Yeah, kids learn a lot then. You know, you're, it's, a, it's a teaching experience. Yesterday, you know how much fun I, I have at Halloween stores? I love Halloween stores. I, <sighs> duh. Duh. <laughs> It, uh, I've met you. It's the greatest. Um, and I really, I don't go in there and buy anything because I make a mental note of everything I want to buy. And uh -huh. then I buy it the day after Halloween because it's 50% off then. And you're very cheap. And Halloween is every day at your house. It's not like it's only October 31st. Right. So there's a big sign on the door that says you must have mask to enter. Mm -hmm. Don't don't come. Yeah, it's kind of funny because it's a Halloween store. It's but, kind of funny. It's like, okay, can I wear a Trump mask? Does it say what kind of mask I have to wear? Can I buy a mask and then wear it in? Yeah, I, I found. Speaking of that, hold on. I I took pictures of Trump masks for Joe. Oh, uh, uh, see, and they got this one. Okay. <laughs> that one's really ugly. That looks like an old lesbian. And, and then I can get that one. So why do they make him look like an old lesbian? He looks like an old lesbian because he does. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so they have those. But anyway, 50 percent of the people in there had no mask on. <gasps> so uh, 
even the that the door says you must have mask, nobody was wearing. So I guess nobody anymore can read. I hope you were wearing a mask. Oh, oh God, yeah. Okay, good. Because so, they say that you wearing a mask is just as good as if you if you can't get a, a shot. Like once the COVID uh, vaccine comes out, if mm-hmm. you can't get one, wearing a mask is just as good. And I, but we think now being in the gerbil bubble is actually is better. better. Well, that's of course that's better. Right. So we're all for that. Can I drink water like a gerbil? <laughs> <laughs> One of those things, get like a gerbil water bottle thing. Right next to your bed. She just at, <laughs> at night just roll just over. Roll over. <laughs> <laughs> you know you've always wanted to drink out of one of those. You see it and you go, how does that work? Um, I keep water by my bed. That would be a lot more convenient. 